The Fortnite YouTube space is full of FPS optimization videos, but most offer common knowledge or misleading advice. Testing this optimization required multiple PC restarts. And today, we will find out some unnecessary optimization that kills your FPS in your game. So guys, I'm Harris and you're watching Possible Now and this video is going to be really interesting guys. So just watch the video till the end and if new on this channel, kindly like this video, share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and without any waste of time, let's start the video. So guys, the first video spends 5 minutes on basic driver updates. Uh, important but well known advice, uh, DirectX 12 shaders don't impact performance mode but downloading them unnecessarily usage ssg space but my recommendation here is you need to uh, run your game on performance mode or dx11 mode or also set all the settings to low to get the higher fps boost in your game and after that the next thing is enabling pre-downloaded assets improve fps in lobbies and boost one percent lows in game verifying game files helps confirm settings are applied but doesn't drastically affect performance and just yes, switching to a new video he covers disabling startup apps which is common knowledge uh, turning off xbox game bar has no significant fps impact unless record in background is enabled and yes, switching between power modes uh, like balance versus high performance also shows no FPS difference. Similarly, disabling background apps or tweaking Win64 parity separation uh, to values like 16 to 18 has no noticeable effect. And uh, the next thing guys is disabling the hardware acceleration in discard is helpful but has minimal impact in Chrome. Provided it's closed during gameplay, windows, animations and notifications don't impact gaming performance either. And uh, settings like core isolation can marginally improve uh, the FPS but might compromise PC security. Most tweaks in optimization videos don't apply to Windows 11 or show no significant FPS gains, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling can help slightly. So guys, recommendation like deleting temporary files or using storage uh, since don't impact FPS directly. Similarly, updating BIOS or enabling XMP might help, but these aren't beginner friendly tips. XMP isn't available on most gaming laptops or PC. And the last thing guys is uninstalling unused apps and enabling features like strobing and strobing can reduce motion blur or spotting monitors however vague or untested advice is the main issues with this video so guys while some tweaks can make minor improvements many have little to no effect on fps or gameplay so remember understanding your hardware and applying tested optimizations will always yield the best results so guys, if you found this video helpful, kindly like this video, share it to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content. And we will meet in the next one. Until then, peace out.